What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna basically tell you how to fix this issue if your the forest is having connection, network or server issues. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial. In the end you will probably know what to do in order to fix this kind of issues. Before we start right into the video, I just want you to you guys know, let you guys know that, that I would really, really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment, or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It would really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me, guys. You would support my work in YouTube a little bit, and I'm going to really be thankful for that, and I'm going to thank you for that. So anyways, I would just say, let's get right started. So the first step in order to fix this kind of issue is going to be to click the Windows key into R key at the same time. So on your keyboard, do that. And you're going to see this little uh, tab popping up, and I want you to type in CMD, afterwards hit enter. And once this tab pops up, I want you to simply type in what I'm going to type in. So IP config space slash flush DNS and hit enter. Once you did that, I want you to, uh, you're going to see successfully flushed. And what uh, I want you to do is going to be to end this task. Next step is going to be to navigate to your bottom left corner, opening up your settings, navigating right onto network and internet. And uh, next step is going to be to click onto Network and Sharing Center. What I want you to do here is going to be to navigate to the top left corner, clicking onto the second link where it says Change Adapter Settings, and stick right onto your top left corner. Where I want you to simply, uh, where it's gonna, there is going to be like Ethernet or Internet, it just depends on what you're currently using. And I want you to simply right click and click onto Disable. Once it is disabled, wait a few seconds and enable it again. Next step is going to be to wait until it's perfectly connected again. So wait patiently, and once it is connected, you should be able to return back to your network and sharing center. So now it's connected, return back. And what I want you to do is going to be to click into the blueprint text, or either internet or ethernet again, click on that, click on the properties, and stick or click into internet protocol version 4. And enable use the following DNS server addresses. On the top, I want you to type in 4 times 8, and on the bottom, 2 times 4 and 2 times 8. Afterwards, click OK and apply. That's it for the video, guys. I hope that could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment, or a subscription. I'm going to really be thankful for that, and I'm going to thank you for that. But I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm just going to do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one, and bye.